Hello everyone. Uh, we are here in Channel 9 studio today with uh, Sergey. Uh, my name is Girish Raja. I'm a technical evangelist with uh, Microsoft and Sergey is from Aqualand. Thanks for joining us, Sergey. Thank you for having me. So tell us a bit about yourself and uh, what you do at Aqualand. So uh, my name is Sergey Dreisen. I'm the CEO of Aqualand and I'm a former Microsoft employee. I spent about uh, eight and a half years in different uh, product teams and now we run Aquilon. Aquilon is a software consultancy. We're a little over 140 people and uh, we work with various clients inside Microsoft and outside. One of our clients is a uh, CRM team. Uh, we work uh, with CRM online, we work with CRM, uh, we work with uh, different Dynamics uh, uh, groups. Uh, so uh, various Dynamics groups. So the product I would like to uh, uh, show you today is uh, CRM Global Search. Excellent. So Dynamics CRM, uh, we just had the beta of the latest release, the yep. CRM 2011 mm -hmm. beta went out last week. Uh, what do you think of that? I have a very uh, personal connection to it. Uh, part of uh, my, my, my company, my guys work on the product. So really excited to see it, uh, to see it finally getting closer to be shipped. And uh, I'm really excited about the online uh, paradigm. I like the idea of being able to innovate and plug in your own products and components into a hosted uh, scenario and, and basically open up that whole uh, box of innovation and, and allowing people do their things. Certainly. So tell us a bit more about Global Search because that's mm -hmm. the product that we're going to talk about in this video. Tell us what you mean by Global Search and you know what do you have as a solution? Absolutely. So uh, Global Search is of course uh, as you can guess by name is a way to world domination in search. <laughs> but uh, to be serious. Uh, One enterprise at a time. As absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Or all of them together. But uh, as, as uh, users of CRM would know CRM provides very robust uh, search capabilities. The, y you can basically go and search for something and, and find it and apply all kinds of filters and specific uh, 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 maybe date times and such and such. The only thing that CRM doesn't allow you to do is search across multiple entities. So if I'm inside accounts, I can, think, I can find things, I can find accounts. If I'm inside leads, I can find leads. If I'm inside opportunities, I can find opportunities. What I cannot do is do a single search and find entities that match the search across all the entities that reside in CRM. And that's what Global Search does. It allows you to do a single search and find all the entities which match that search criteria. Cool. So out of the box, you get the, uh, the structured search you know, going by one set of entities with a set of criteria, mm -hmm. you know, whether it be in the native search or whether it be in the advanced find. Yep. But your global search searches across the entire list of Absolutely. entities, the entire list of data that you have in the CRM system. Yes. Which is great. So tell us a bit about how this works behind the scenes. You know, are you guys doing, uh, you know, web service queries every time mm -hmm. somebody searches or do you have an index or yep. just curious about how this works behind the scenes a little bit. So, yeah, so there's a little bit of both. So we have, we use direct uh, querying for uh, um, all the entities except for emails and uh, attachments. So emails and attachments are indexed. There is a, a, a crawler job in the back that indexes and everything else is direct uh, uh, queries into SQL database. Excellent. So how would that work with something like an Outlook client or a mobile client? Is this something that you're thinking about actively? Uh, so yes. Uh, Outlook client we support online scenarios. So in Outlook it works uh, well in online. We don't support mobile uh, nor we uh, support uh, Outlook offline. Mm -hmm. Which is interesting now because we wrote the mobile uh, implementation for CRM. <laughs> but uh, we don't support uh, it for searching yet. Maybe it's a future date, I would well, imagine. Well, quite, quite possible. <laughs> and how does it work with something like a hosted environment like CRM Online, where mm -hmm. we see a lot of customers going to CRM Online because it gives them the flexibility of not having to run CRM in their own data center. They can mm -hmm. just you know, use it as a SaaS application. How would a product like Global Search work with online? So right now we have uh, we support hosted scenarios. So a uh, hosting provider, uh, be it Microsoft or someone else, can buy Global Search and install it separate for each organization and basically mm -hmm. provide it as per user per license uh, model. We don't support complete online scenario yet. We are not able to plug into somebody else's hosted environment. We need access to the box. We need access to SQL. Mm -hmm. So this is something we're looking at, and we're uh, probably going to implement it fairly soon and ship it. 
Excellent. So when you go back and get data from CRM, it's typically through SQL or web services or a combination of both. Yeah, right now it's not web services. It's more direct API calls into libraries. Mm -hmm. uh, the version one was web services. Cool. But you know, eventually when you get to online, I, I presume you're yeah. going to do a bit uh, of both about yeah. you know calling web services and indexing. Absolutely, web services. Actually, we had uh, we, we thought we would have performance penalties, but it turned out to be fine. Cool. So we're able to do some smart caching uh, 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 for calls and also on client and use some uh, compression mechanisms and get data over uh, and do some good perf. Excellent. So how would a customer go about configuring it? Because as you, as you can imagine in CRM world, every mm -hmm. customer is different. They yep. have their own set of entities, their set of fields. Is this something that a customer can configure themselves or do they just install and go or you know, how does it work? Absolutely. So let me actually show you some configuration. So here we have a, a very uh, fresh setup uh, CRM 2011. Uh, that has some records bootstrapped and it also has global search installed. So I'm, a, I'm an admin uh, my name is Demo Demo and uh, here we have a, a settings page. So in settings I would go to a global search settings and I, what, what, what I would see is basically uh, all the entities that I've decided to search. So I decided to make this entity searchable. If I want to add more entities I will basically say okay what else can I search? Well, I got activities, addresses, business units. What can I? Uh, what would I like to search? Well, I'd like to search, say, activities. Okay, so we go say activities, and we say uh, publish, uh, publish change. It says okay. Okay, now if I go back to settings, and I go to global search settings, I should see activities. Here we go. So okay. here's. So this is basically a list of entities we've decided to make searchable. Obviously, the more entities you make searchable, the longer searches take. So the same thing would be for uh, custom entities. We support completely custom entity searches. So when I open this entity, I will have a chance to configure how I want it to be searched and how I want it to be presented. So these are the attributes to be displayed in search results. So right here I can say, okay, right now I want to show activity subject, but let's say I want to see maybe uh, owner, owner, add owner, okay, say okay, oh, maybe I want to configure something else. So here is how I want to search it, so which fields inside this entity I'm actually going to search to find the string. So you can say, you know, you want to search the whole set of records in the entity yep. or a whole set of fields or yep. you can pick yep. and choose which Absolutely. ones you want to do. And also you can search looked up uh, fields that are not, uh, that are related to this entity. So this one missing description, so I want to add description. And here are the states, which states I want to search. I can search the ones that are open, scheduled, completed, so in this case we have them all. And here's some of the relationships. So basically, uh, if I'm searching an entity and it has a relationship, I want to put on search uh, result page right away. So I can click, let's say, I have uh, an account and I want to show the list of uh, contacts or something. I can do that uh, right away so you don't have to open it and jump back and forth. So it's very productive for user because when they're trying to look up a record, they don't have to do 20 clicks to get there. Absolutely. They can just that's, search and get there pretty soon. That's the goal. So if I say here and I say publish, I basically configured my uh, search for uh, 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 entity type, uh, remind me later, for entity type activities. So the same thing I can do for, for each entity and of course custom entities. And we have a default configuration that we ship it with. Uh, and that usually includes uh, most of the common entities. So out of the box, if it's a CRM implementation, mm -hmm. it's all pre-configured, but yep. if you have an XRM type implementation with completely custom entities, you'll still be able to configure Absolutely. and yes. use it however you want. Yep. So let me uh, then go and maybe show you how it actually works. So let's say we are uh, in my work uh, uh, space, and let's say uh, we would be in, uh, uh, where should we be, my work activities. Uh, let's go to sales. And uh, you can configure where you want to see global search on which, of course, on which tabs. You can also configure things like when the crawler starts to do indexing, how often it runs for uh, attachments and emails. But let's say I, I was in uh, accounts, right? I'm working in accounts, and I'm trying to find a uh, account that has to do with a guy named Mike. So if I if I use a standard search and I say Mike, what it will do? It will show me the list of accounts which have word Mike in 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 the, in the name of the account. If I go to global search, 
and I say Mike, what I will find is, let's see what am I going to find. Okay. Okay, what I'll find, I'll find eight accounts that have something to do with Mike. I, and I also can, by the way, sub-search. Let's say I want to uh, only deal with those that are in 425 and none of those. So 618. Okay, got oh. one and 618. So you can have some filtering on, uh, on top of on top of which that's uh, pretty cool yeah and that's actually those are the columns that we configured when we said we want to display so those are the columns that we configured so I found eight accounts I found seven activities something to do with Mike so oh. I can click here and and we see it and let's say if I want to for example maybe even do a little trick and say uh, contacts general and maybe go into description and say Sergey found this record. Save and close. And if I now search for Sergey, it should actually find this record that I just edited. That was under Mike. That's excellent. So right here, here we go. One of this. So this one is probably it. So it's not just looking at uh, you know one set of field it's whatever you configure that's exactly. being indexed and exactly. in this case I'm assuming it's a live search yep. because it's going against the, yep. the live data yeah that's but great. but the main uh, the main beauty of it is that it, it allows you to see the whole picture of everything uh, everything that you've ever dealt with let for example you let's say a call comes in mm -hmm. and you search by a number let's you don't have that number anywhere in the counts or but you have somewhere in notes a guy called and we talked okay here you're you find the entity you can look at the history you can your salespeople can be extremely productive great now the user interface looks pretty compelling because mm -hmm. it, it looks a lot like the native UI but you've added some elements like filtering and things like that can you talk a bit about how you guys build this is this Ajax or Silverlight or yeah so we have Ajax uh, we have .NET mm -hmm. uh, on the background we have uh, a link to SQL mm -hmm. we have TSQL and uh, it's basically very straightforward standard stuff excellent but you were able to make it look like it's a native CRM record and a set of entities which is excellent we tried hard <laughs> that's great now Tell me a bit more about how this would work in an enterprise scenario where you know CRM is just one component of the enterprise deployment. You mm -hmm. know, they probably have many other systems, you know, things like SharePoint and you know other piece of software. And you know, this is a great set of functionality. But mm -hmm. somebody would want to do, hey, I want to search for Mike in my ERP. I want to search for Mike in SharePoint. Yep. You know, how would it work for you know? Mm -hmm. uh, for your customer in a scenario like that? Yeah, so right now the way we work is uh, we support searching the entities inside CRM and as well as attachments uh, and documents which are residing inside CRM. So CRM has a very specific implementation of how documents are stored inside the database so we can search for those. Uh, we have implementations which are uh, specific for larger clients where we do funky things and those we can connect to different data stores you know document lists or something else to search those as well so out of the box it doesn't support it but uh, we do do it for a specific implementation specific clients so for example one thing for enterprises which is very interesting is let's say you have a company that has multiple businesses and they're like silos and each one of those uh, has its own CRM organization but there's no way to search across so let's say you, you sell product A to this guy and they probably need product B, but there's no way to find them because they're in different silos. So we have implementations that search across multiple CRM organizations and allow you to see it in single single search. But this is more of a custom implementation than than a uh, out of the box functionality. Perfect. Now, as a customer, you know, and uh, here you can uh, actually download and try it. Right here, here's download button. Cool. So there's a 30-day free trial that free. customer can use in their own environment. Yep, there's 30-day free trial. We can extend it. There is all kinds of special licenses for pre-production environment, for development environment. Uh, of course, we're very open to uh, looking at your uh, bigger problem and helping you solve it with a global search or different implementations on top of it. Excellent. Is this something that you're planning to post on Dynamics Marketplace, which is probably out by the time when we have this video posted. Is that something that you're uh, you know, looking forward to? Definitely plan. So we're on Pinpoint right now, and we're hoping to be on Marketplace, one of the first uh, to be there. All right, Sergey, it's a pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me.